What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Undercover Vikings. An exciting episode because this episode that just passed for Vikings was epic, guys. It was epic. I'm so freaking excited right now because OMG, all the unanswered questions have freaking been answered. And I'm just going to come out with this. Please, I told you so. I told you so. OMG, I just felt like I had to say that because I knew that Ragnar never slept with Quentin. I love you, Quentin. I do. But I knew Ragnar never slept with that girl. All she did was pee on her and him. And Magnus is not his son. And dang, they so dirty. They just threw him out in the street like garbage. OMG. But I feel like Magnus is going to have a huge history behind him anyway. I love how Ragnar said that. He was like, oh, uh, a friend of mine <laughs> had told me what a miracle was once. And... <laughs> a miracle because you ain't my you must be a miracle because you ain't my kid i never slept with that girl oh and gee guys i'm telling you i knew it i knew it anyways ding dong the wicked witch is dead finally omg we've been waiting for this girl she tried to <sighs> she tried to talk her way out of getting killed you honestly thought that lagatha was just gonna let you walk away girl that was not even a uh... Come on! That was so funny that she really thought she could just walk away unscathed. Really? Really? And Sigurd, being the little snake he is, didn't even care that his mom died. And Ube is ready to kill somebody. He is ready to cut throats. I don't really know where they are, but it must be their little bachelor type pad. And of course, they're, you know, Ube has something against Lagatha, but Lagatha could care less, guys. She is finally back on her throne. And it looks like she wants her man to come back to her. But OMG, guys, I am so excited that all that happened. And then the third thing that was epic was Ragnar finally got to meet Alfred. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, I said thank you, Jesus. He finally got to meet Alfred. He finally, and he didn't even have to be told that that was Atheston's son. Oh my gosh, I love this whole back and forth between Ragnar and King Eckbert is such a like a loving I love you friendship type thing and it's like I respect you and Ragnar just wants to die but to have this conversation with someone who he considers a good friend you know it was really cool I know some of you might not like it because of the fact that he's not really acting for revenge over the people that died but I love OMG I, I love 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 their relationship. I'm sorry, guys. I love the relationship between King Edward and Ragnar. I do. I just felt for both of them, and it was so sad and funny to see that Edward could not lay a finger on Ragnar because he loved them too much. They respect each other, and even though that they they've done things to each other, but OMG, I love it. Oh, and we didn't see Bjorn, Rolo, or any of them in this episode. Um, we didn't. Um, really see too much of Ivar but we did see a little bit of him but guys this was like the best episode ever I don't know I don't want to ramble but it was the best episode ever bye we're gonna miss you Aslog not uh thank god for Alfred and sorry Magnus so sorry he was a little cocky too but so sorry all right guys thanks so much for watching I'm so glad I was able to do this video and I am going to be talking a lot on the on the channels so I'll see you guys in the TRV group. I'll see you guys on the Undercover Viking page. And let's keep watching this show because it is a freaking amazing. Bye, guys.